Alrighty. We always start our sessions with doing a little smudge. And what that means is just brushing off, you know, the day thus far. So me and Nikki are going to start us off. And if you don't feel like participating, you can just simply say thank you or, you know, pass it to the next person. Magnificent Marion! I'm all it. Magnificent Marion! Gesturing Gabe! Devilish Dallas! Joyful J Rock! Hesterian Henry! Hi, my name is Mahalo Lindsay. I'm 14 years old and I'm from the Seminole tribe. Hi, I'm Zakai. I'm 12 years old and I'm from the Makosu tribe. My name is Dorothy Williams. I'm 11 years old and I'm from the Mokoshi tribe. Hi, I'm Carlyana Kahema. Some people call me Carly, and I'm 12 years old, and I'm from the Mokoshi tribe. Hello, my name is Anasia. I am 12, turning 13 in July, and I'm Mokoshi. In our language, it's Mokoshi, and I'm Canadian. Hello, my name is Marcus. I am 13. I am Mokoshi. My name is Julia, and I'm 12 years old, and I am Pialab. My name is Lauren Jean Elkins Jr. hyphen Sanchez. I'm 12 years old and I am Muckleshoot. Hi, my name is Laura Weed. I'm 12 years old and I am Muckleshoot. My name is Gabriel Reich Norris. I'm 23 years old and I'm a Washingtonian. What I'm grateful for is the staff, my friends. I'm grateful over here. I'm grateful at the Teen Center for Friends and good staff. I'm grateful for the staff here and my friends and the activities they do. What I'm grateful for is my friends, family, and activities that we do at the Teen Center. I like the Makoshi tribe because they do powwows and I like the people that's from the Makoshi tribe. Why I'm grateful for after school programming is because it gives time for kids to have away from their families where they can learn to be themselves and kind of flourish in their own way. Some people help each other and some people don't, but they do help and that that reminds me of community and how they come together. Communities, a feeling of friendship and closeness with others. As a result of sharing common attitudes, interests, and Goals, examples of communities, after school programs, programs, reservations, sports, teams, clubs at school, Red Eagle Soaring, and online groups. Piece of advice I got told from my grandparents was just be you and don't let anyone put you down. A piece of advice I heard is that you're never promised tomorrow. An advice that someone that my um aunt, one of my aunties told me is think before you breathe because I was always clumsy as a kid. My grandma and my mom said, don't be mean to other people when they're trying to be mean to you. And the piece of advice I heard from my grandparents is respect one another. That if I see someone that needs help, I should help and not let them get hurt. Piece of advice I heard from my grandparents, or really it's my uncle, is you gotta start somewhere. He was a framer and no matter what on a wall, you, you gotta start somewhere to build up the wall. And I think that applies to multiple things, like even just in life in general, you gotta start somewhere. And one thing I did enjoy about Red Eagle Soaring is it was the bean skit. Because honestly, I didn't know my kids could get into a skit that well. I think I'm going to actually do more activities like that and see what we can come up with. So yeah. And the thing that I enjoyed in, about Red Eagles is their, is their games, their culture. Something I enjoyed about the Red Eagles soaring is the activities they do with you. I enjoyed Kitty Wants a Corner and I learned about the culture. To speak more and learn about um, Muckleshoot stuff and Native stuff. I learned about my community, how to look for the camera, and how to be on time. And what I learned that is to appreciate your tribe. What I enjoy about Red Eagle Soaring is not everything has to be perfect. 